wait for a uh, replacement receiver to arrive. I thought I'd run through the connections for the PDB um, why am I waiting for a replacement receiver? Be because uh, while I was testing this out with the uh, power applied I made the mistake of dragging these bare receiver pins uh, over the terminals that I hadn't covered with hot glue and I shorted out the FreeSky X4R, virtually brand new, hardly used and let the magic smoke out so that one's a dud and I'm waiting for a replacement to arrive but yeah, so while I wait for that replacement even with um, instructions, the, the, the layout on the, the PDB board the tracks going everywhere can be quite confusing um, Best resource here I found was the was Oscar's website with a few diagrams. Chuck some links up there to show those. But even looking at those, until you go through it, it uh, can be pretty confusing. So just for my own records, as much as explaining it, uh, I'm going to go through from the back to front, what's connected to where and why. Uh, starting from the back, working forward. Yep. So main battery. ESCs and the signal won't go through all of those. Going forward, the voltage regulator pin. So I think this is a voltage in, ground, and voltage out. Um, so that voltage out, because I've put this uh, voltage regulator, it's a 12 volt regulator. This V reg uh, 12 volts comes out, uh, well, at least uh, up here. I'm using that to power the camera. Yeah, so OSD uh, reg again, so 12 volts here. So the OSD is the video out from the OSD going into the video transmitter. 12 volts from the regulator going into the video transmitter and ground going into the video transmitter. Um, you could use the camera app, that's the, the output directly from the camera, so there'd be no OSD if you wanted to. Ground, BEC output, and motor one, these first three. So I'm not using the BEC output. So uh, that that is not powering the flight controller. It's just really that uh, motor one is connected to there. And then motors two, three, and four. Two, three, and four to the flight controller. I'll have got the board out of the way. Over here, uh, OSD, RXTX, uh, yeah, didn't see the purpose in using that because uh, the serial communication to the OSD, because I just took that straight off the, the UART, um, UART, which one is that one? Uh, UART 1. I could jump that over to there, but, ah, uh, okay, yep. I skipped over these pins here. I haven't used these pins. Or if I move this out of the way. Uh, or the, the layout of these pins, I'm pretty sure are for use with the minimum OSD, the longer version, the rectangular one. Whereas I'm using the micro. Minimum OSD, which doesn't fit. So the, the long rectangular one, uh, I think if you mount it, uh, one end of the board goes over those pins, and uh, the other end of the board down here for video in, video out, uh, mounts straight onto there. But because I'm not using that board, I'm not using those pins, so, uh, and I think a couple of those pins are the RX and TX from the OSD. And so, Normally, uh, you take the RXTX out of the nase board, jump right into there, that would appear there and out to your minimum OSD. Yeah, so I'm not using that. So I'm not using any of those pins, I'm taking it straight off the board here and into the OSD. Into the OSD. So while I'm on that, um, yeah, this is UART1. Um, uh, bad colouring 
choice of colouring for the cable there, I should swap around. Um, minus plus uh, TXRX going into the micro minimum OSD and also going into there is the okay video in video out and ground so like I mentioned before uh, I think this is this one is video in and video out and over here is the, the ground now to actually get to those I put pins underneath the board uh, make a bit of a mess here um, I put pins underneath here now these are temporary cables because they're really long I'm just um, I'm gonna put some short ones in there haven't got around to that uh, but I put those on just to test it uh, yeah so V bat battery voltage into there I oh, don't know V bat Ah, yeah, uh, battery voltage worked fine into that. It was the buzzer connection that doesn't work on this Banggood knockoff uh, using the connector. The battery voltage pin, uh, sorry, the buzzer is soldered directly to the bottom of the board. Uh, moving up the board, uh, the connection out to the SBUS X4R receiver. Just need the um, signal, power and ground. And they're pretty much redundant, so I'll probably uh, remove those from the jumpers there. I think they are. I'll check that before I pull them out. Uh, moving up the board. Of wires. Uh, the 5 volts out from the PDB to power the flight controller just goes into what well, input 8 or something there. Uh, buzzer soldered straight to the board and the camera. So I'm using the 12 volt regulator output, regulator output from back here and the ground and the signal what was that loud? labeled AV um, so that signal from the camera uh, goes to what's it labeled um, uh, the pin video out which is one of the ones coming from under the board. Um, no, sorry. That goes to video in, and uh, there. So that video in goes off to the OSD, and then video out goes back to video out, and that video out signal goes down here to the OSD, and that. OSD signal goes off to the video transmitter. Um, so that's probably clear as mud, but uh, Oscar's website is a really good reference for those diagrams, and I find just connecting one thing up at a time um, helps. Crush the ZMR 250 Mini uh, with the Nays Rev 6, um, just uh, ripped uh, pads off an ESC. Anyway, um, as you can see, wiring on this is pretty messy. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this power distribution board, replace it with a um, uh, a PDB board the size of the Nays. 32 with integrated OSD so I should be able to get rid of some of these, these wires and just generally tidy it up um, so that's a bit of a before well, 
there's all the parts, there's a before and uh, yeah maybe I'll show an after. Hey, 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 hey.